For homework tonight, it's uh, lesson five, problem set numbers one, three, four, five, six. So we're going to do number one, we're going to do number three, and we're going to do numbers four, five, and six. For this video though, I'm actually only going to do uh, number one and number four. Because by just doing these two problems, the other problem, number three, is just like number one. So just how we're going to do number one, you do number three. And just how we do number four, you're going to do five and six. It's very straightforward. Okay. So before we begin, I want to relook at what we talked about in class. Okay. Uh, if we have two triangles and they correspond, this symbol right here, the double arrow, means correspond. Okay. This symbol means triangle. So this is triangle ABC corresponds to triangle RTS. Okay? If we're looking at the correspondence of vertices, we're looking at just the points, the points on the triangle. Okay? Point A, and I color coded this to try and make it a little bit easier to understand. Point A corresponds to point R. So point A corresponds to point R. B corresponds to T. B corresponds to T, it's the second letter. C corresponds to S, the third letter corresponds to the third letter. Okay? These are points, vertices. Okay? When we look at angles, we're looking at the angles that's actually inside the triangle. Okay? We still refer to them by their letter, the, the letter of the point in which it's the vertice. Okay? So angle A corresponds to angle R. A corresponds to R. Angle A corresponds to R. Angle B corresponds to T, angle T. Angle C corresponds to angle S. That's what I got right here. Okay? This is correspondence of angles. Correspondence of sides, in order to write a side, we don't put a symbol. We just put the two letters, the two points that, that uh, the side connects. Okay? So side AB, this is the first letter and the second letter, correspond to the first letter and the second letter. Okay? BC corresponds to TS. Second letter, third letter, second letter, third letter. CA corresponds with SR. Okay? Third letter, first letter, third letter, first letter. You notice that I do the same order. If I do the third letter first, and the first letter second, C then A, I do S then R over here. Must be the same order. Okay? And this is called the correspondence of sides. Okay? So when we look at the homework, okay, they give us the triangle. They give us this. Okay? They give us this. And we must complete these three boxes. Okay? So if we look at number one, okay, correspondent of vertices. That just means a point, A to R, okay? So triangle, or sorry, not triangle. We don't write a, a symbol there, okay? Just goes A corresponds to R. And actually, this is what I did here. So number one, this all goes in the top box, okay? A goes to R. B corresponds to T and C corresponds to S. Okay? So I wrote all three of those things in the first box, correspondence of vertices. Correspondence of angles. Okay? We got angle A corresponds to angle R. Angle B corresponds to angle T. Angle C corresponds to angle S. Okay? Just what I have right here goes in the second. So angles, we're using our angle symbol. Vertices, we're just using the letter. Sides, we're going to use our two letters next to each other. Okay? So for sides, we go side AB corresponds to RT. Okay? If we look up here, we'd be just be doing from this. AB, first then second. First, then second. Okay? B, C corresponds with T, S. 
and CA corresponds with SR. Okay? So I know you have to write small, but you have to fit three things in each box. Okay? Number three, you're doing the exact same thing as number one. Okay? They give you the triangle, but you're using these letters here. Okay, so I'll get you started. The first correspondent of vertices, Q, the first letter goes with W. So Q corresponds to W. And you take it from there. Three things in this box, three things in this box, three things in this box. Okay, correspondence of angles would be angle Q corresponds to angle W. Down here, correspondence of sides, QR. QR corresponds to WY, and so on and so forth. So you finish that up, okay? Three things, three things, three things. Okay? Now, for number four, five, and six, it says name the angle pairs and side pairs to find a triangle correspondence that matches sides of equal length and angles of equal measures. So we need to find the sides and the angles. So if we look at our chart here, we don't need to do vertices. We need to do angles, we need to do sides. So this and this. Then the last thing you need to do is show corresponding triangles. That's this statement up here that starts with a triangle and tells you triangle of whatever corresponds to triangle whatever. Okay. So for numbers four, five, and six, we're writing this, a set here, and this set here. So one, two, three things we need to do. We don't need to worry about this for the problem. Okay, number four. So let's do our, I'm actually gonna label this. My sides, I'm gonna do here. My angles, I'm gonna do here. And then my triangle, I'm going to do here, okay? So for sides, okay? I look here on these diagrams here. This has one tick mark. This has two tick marks. This has three tick marks. One, two, three. My angle, same thing. One arc, two arcs, three arcs. One arcs, one arc, two arcs, three arcs, okay? I match them up, okay? For sides, remember, I'm doing the two between. So actually, I'm going to start with angles here. So angle E, okay? So I'm going from this triangle to this triangle. Angle E has one arc here. That matches up with angle X that has one arc here. So I'm going to say angle E corresponds to angle X. Then I'm going to look at my angle here. This says two arcs. Angle F corresponds to angle Y because it has two tick mark or two arcs here. So angle F, angle Y. Lastly, three arcs. Angle D corresponds to angle Z. Three arcs. Angle D corresponds to angle Z. Okay. Now we're going to do the sides. This side right here has one tick mark, F to E. Okay. So from two arcs to three. So F to, or two arcs to one. So side F E corresponds with angle or side that has one tick mark as well. One tick mark. One tick mark. Y X. Okay side that has two tick marks, this one right here, okay, and two tick marks here, those two sides. So we're going to start with this triangle here. So we're going to go F to D is the same as Y to Z, corresponds to Y to Z. Three tick marks is this right here and this one right here. So we're going to go D to E corresponds, D to E corresponds to Z to X. 
Okay. So then what we can say for this triangle, okay, I'm going to call it triangle blank corresponds to triangle blank. Okay. So I'm going to use this triangle first, okay, and I'm going to go E, which is one arc, two arcs, three arcs. So E F D. Calling that triangle EFD corresponds to XYZ. X one arc, two arcs, three arcs. That's why I did XYZ. The order matters here. Okay? The order matters here. Whatever order you do here, you must do here. Okay? Numbers five and six. You're doing the same exact thing, so you can just kind of break this up, okay? Sides are going to go here, angles can go here, and your triangle correspondence statement can go there, okay? If you know how to do four, you can no do five and six. So that's the homework for tonight. Pretty easy, considering what we've done.